Well, even with such a high advance voter turnout and ballots cast on Monday, there were still lineups to get to polling stations today. And our Kyle Benning is live at the Lakewood Civic Center. Now, Kyle, what's it like there? Jackie, as you can see in the lineup behind me, there is quite a long lineup still to go. So I guess a little bit of a high demand here in terms of uh, voter turnout. There are four key aspects that we're going to look at when it comes to voter turnout. The first one being voter fatigue. This is something that a few political analysts have spoke to us about just because of the provincial election that came up last month and the U.S. election down south might have some people a little bit concerned or not as interested in participating in the municipal election. The second being mail-in ballots. 25% of all applications for mail-in ballots were denied by the city of Saskatoon and following that they gave those people very little time to reapply in some cases. That works out to about 4,500 voters who didn't have the opportunity to participate in mail-in and might not want to uh, participate in person or might not feel comfortable. The third being the postponement from Monday to Friday which you've already spoken about and the limiting of 65 polls down to seven today which we're seeing one of them here at the Lakewood Civic Center. Uh, obviously with the fewer polls people will be congregated in an area and are being forced to wait outside so we'll see whether that plays a, a factor as well waiting outside could play a factor as well people out here in the cold waiting in line we'll see if people really want to stay in line and participate in the municipal election one last note here Jackie there was a 40% voter turnout back in 2016 in the civic election. We'll see where that ranks now. You mentioned a 9% just in the advanced polls, so on track for that. In Regina, there was a small bump when it came to uh, voter turnout. It went from 20 to 21%. Jackie? All right, Kyle, thanks so much for that update. Appreciate it. The aftermath of Saskatoon.